We cannot wait. And it's here. And it's now. And Michael Buffer is making the introductions. Enjoy. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallant. Deep, deep, my buhay, lupang hinirang, duyan ka lang magiting sa manlulupi. Di ka pa sisiil sa dagat at punto sa simoy. Sa langit mong bughaw, may tilang ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang kislap ng watawat mo'y tagumpay na nagninigning Ang bituin na tarang niya kailan pa may di magdidilim Lupa ng araw ng luwahat ipagsinta Buhay lang it sa piling mo Aming ligat Jessica Sanchez!
hand, right to the chest. Oh, and a right hand drops Mancini. Pacquiao 34, Rios a little bit younger. Rios has an advantage in height, slight advantage in weight, and a distinct advantage in reach. So the tail of the tape favors Brandon Rios. It'll be the 10 point must scoring system, no standing eight count, no three knockdown order. Fighter cannot be saved with the bell in any round, and only the referee can stop the fight. We get into any accidental fouls. Larry and I will explain that to you as it becomes pertinent. This is the way in yesterday. Brandon Rios and there, of course, is Manny Pacquiao. And when they hit the scales, they're both in under the limit. And this, of course, uh, weight thing I to discuss. For Rios, this is his first time to come up to this weight where he didn't have a weight problem with losing weight. And he's a naturally bigger man than Pacquiao for whatever uh, that means. Manny, having started as a teenage flyweight um, he kind of he's coming up from the lightweight divisions uh, Rios so he's a little bigger physically uh, but doesn't have uh, the, the one punch striking power that uh, Manny Pacquiao has demonstrated when he was the Manny Pacquiao of uh, story and song you say that as if uh your question and uh, we should question it how well, much uh, of course you know history is not on Manny Pacquiao's side when a veteran champion uh, suffers the kind of knockout he suffered uh, it usually indicates that he is on the downward side of his career have to keep in mind, uh, Manny Pacquiao hasn't had a knockout in four years, hasn't officially won a fight in two years, hasn't fought in nearly a year. Uh, this is time, you know, beating on the stone. And um, obviously they brought Rios in uh, because they thought he was the perfect opponent for the comeback. The odds are highly in favor of Pacquiao of pulling it off. But uh, from the point of view of uh, Rios, um, if he's facing a shot fighter, he's got a shot. That was Freddy. Freddy's wanted the rematch next against Marquez. And that didn't happen. He wanted that right away. Automatically, you want that redemption uh, right away. Manny winning that fight up until the knockout. But I agree, that is the biggest question, Larry, coming into the fight, is how will Manny Pacquiao's chin hold up? I think once he takes a few punches and everyone sees he's fine, then that question it's, it's will be answered. It's not just his chin. I think what a lot of us, look, that was a historic one-punch knockout in a very exciting fight. What many of us forget is that there was an earlier knockdown there, by Marquez. Right. A big, long punch, the kind that Frey Roach said a blind man should have seen coming. Well, what is that telling us? We don't know. We don't know if Rios has the stuff to capitalize on whatever decline there may be in the Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is 
one of a kind. It doesn't mean that history necessarily refers to him in this particular fight and this matchup, but um, there has to be those questions asked, and hopefully we get uh, some answers. Well, Rios is getting ready to make his way out. And let's talk about him. This kid's a very tough kid, former world champion. He's totally ready. He's won this fight for a long time. He's trained harder than ever before. He's totally opposite uh, for many, kind of a brash kid. Some foul language from time to time. But he's a likable rogue, a real likable rogue. He says, I'm a better fighter now than I've ever been. And all I have to do is go upstairs and downstairs in the sky. And if I have to, you remember, Larry, when he said, I'll go way downstairs, <laughs> meaning that he might throw a low blow or two. Who knows? His uh, strikes, he's super tough. He says his defense is improving all the time. He is a crowd-pleasing fighter, and he knows the only way to fight. He says he'll test the chin of Pacquiao early. Well, if he can execute that, maybe he's going to be a new champion. Who knows? You know, the one thing I don't believe, the odds in Las Vegas is 6 to 1, and he's better than the 6 to 1. Because we know that Las Vegas sets the odds to get betting and encourage it. I don't think he's a 6 to 1 dog. He's not a power puncher, but neither was Marquez. He has knockout power, 22 in his 33 well, but he, fights. He, but by beating a, opponents down through attrition and toughness. Absolutely, wearing them down. He, you know, he's promised to be smart aggressive in this fight. We'll see if he can be that. And Manny Pacquiao now just appearing. The crowd hasn't seen him yet. But it's a predominantly Filipino crowd. You know, it's only a, a two-hour flight from the Philippines to China. So there's a lot of people who made the trek over here. It's not real expensive to fly here. Well, that Philippines. was the whole idea of putting this fight here, that and not having to pay the 40% American taxes. My understanding is that Manny uh, is guaranteed 18 million, which uh, roughly would be the equivalent of about 30 million in the U.S. And it could go higher depending on uh, various contracts and how pay-per-view does in the U.S. Well, of course, the networks want to see Manny perform, and then the big story will be Pacquiao, of course, with Floyd Mayweather Jr. But he has to have a big night tonight for that to be considered still important. Well, for, for his fans, it's it's not a, a comeback they're looking for. They, and not a, just a victory. They're looking for Manny to rise again. Is that possible? You know, everybody thinks of him in terms of that one year when he when he stopped Delahoya, Patton, and Cotto and rose to the sky to become an international celebrity. Well, everybody thinks this is the perfect opponent for that to be able to, to uh, for him to be able to do so. Um, sometimes it's uh, be careful what you wish for. Absolutely. But, uh, if he wants to stay at this level of the game, if he wants to make this kind of money, he had to test himself against a reasonable opponent, and uh, Rio certainly qualified. What a track record. WBC flyweight champ at 112. IBF super bantamweight champ at 122. Ring featherweight champion at 126. WBC super featherweight champ at 130. WBC lightweight champ at 135. IBO junior welterweight champ at 140. WBO welterweight champion at 147. WBC super welterweight champ at 154. That's the ticket to Canastota for Manny Pacquiao when he decides to hang him up. All that going for him. Well, but and, and also as part of the record, because punches get punched, as we've pointed out before, he had that honey, I forgot to duck moment the last time we saw him in the ring. Uh, <laughs> ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, welcome to the Kotai Arena here at the Venetian Macau. This is the main event 
Brought to you by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated and MP Promotions. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO International Welterweight Championship. Sponsored by Tecate Con Character. And the motion picture grudge match. Two legends, Stallone and De Niro, the ultimate rivalry. Grudge Match Day is coming from Warner Brothers Pictures, a new comedy. Grudge Match in theaters everywhere, Christmas Day. And Smart Communications, the Philippines' leading wireless provider. This belt sanctioned by the Chinese Professional Boxing Organization and the World Boxing Organization. WBO President Francisco Paco Barcarcel, supervisor for the WBO, Leon Panacio. The three judges scoring the contest at ringside, Lisa Jampa, Manfred Kuchler, and Michael Pernick. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, World Championship veteran referee, Gennaro Gino Rodriguez. And now, the officials are ready. The fighters are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the hundreds of millions watching around the world, from the Venetian, Macau, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner with head trainer, former world champion Robert Garcia. Wearing green with white and red, official weight, 146, one half pounds. His professional record, outstanding at 31 victories, including 22 knockouts, only one defeat with one draw. From Oxnard, California, USA, the former lightweight champion of the world, Brandon Bam Bam! And fighting out of the red corner with Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach, wearing royal blue and officially weighing 145 pounds. His professional record, Hall of Fame credentials. 54 victories, including 38 knockouts, five defeats with two even. From Sarangani province, the fighting pride of the Philippines, eight time world champion, Manny. certainly into it. No signs of any nervous gestures by the challenger here in uh, Ben Ben Rios. Well, he, he says he wants to feel the power of Manny Pacquiao. That's the kind of <laughs> fighter he is. Okay, gentlemen. I think we'll see. He wanted, we'll see. That's the power. The other way by him. We'll, we'll see if, if he gets what he time. wishes for and how he handles it. All right, 10 point must scoring system, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. If I get up, you say, but the in any round. Third man in the ring, Gennaro Hernandez, a good one from Chicago. Oh, well, we're just about ready to go, all the anticipation. Manny seems ready, he's trained hard. Is he focused? That's what it's all about. Big payday against Floyd Mayweather might be on the line here. We'll see. Buckle your seatbelts. Rios, of course, is the guy to the right of the screen. Back to you now. Manny back your decked out in the blue. Lest you didn't know. And he reaches. Nothing there. Rios with a couple of light left jabs. They haven't got into it yet. Manny goes... Whenever Manny does anything, this crowd will react because I would say 75% of the people in this building are from the Philippines. Deafening crowd when he was being introduced. Rio's being uh, very patient for him uh, to start out and try to gauge the quickness of Manny Pacquiao. Um, That's what Robert said that they would do, try to start off slow. And he 
digs downstairs, light shots. That one wasn't light. Straight right hand taking on the gloves. And he caught him with the right hand across the whiskers. Nothing big. Rios not totally backing off. He'll plant and go. And the cheers goes up for Manny. A little slower, meaning, Larry, what you were talking about, that Rios is under control. Manny's scoring more punches in his first round. Yeah, easy. Easily in favor of Manny. Early. I think what happened was is that uh, Manny may have stepped on his foot. I think we're going to see that a lot tonight, actually. Well, it happens with the south part of the right hand of the fighter. But Rios has got to work to the outside of that outstretch front right foot of Manny Pacquiao, or he will be tripping. Problem is, if the fight is close, a trip to score to knockdown can be devastating. Brandon had the best of that inside. Very good, very good work inside for Rios. Yeah, if he can just keep that foot on the outside, like you said. Oh, Trouble is, is seeing it because yeah. your eyes are up. You can almost feel it. Pace is certainly picked up in the latter portions of this first round. Manny gets through. Rio smiles at him. Says, though, I don't know, I gotta give it a back round. Good round for the X champ. Well, they're both X champs, so I assume <laughs> you're giving it to Frank <laughs> The most recent X champ. Ah. <laughs> so we all agree here at ringside that it's a 10 9 round in favor of Manny Pacquiao. Better ring generalship, lands it more in general. Was it a knockdown, not a fishy? Watch there, they're both feet, right hander and a left hander. You can you can see how they could be near. I don't know. Hard balance. to tell from that angle. It was really well. There was the right hands of Manny, kind of pushing him, and Gina was right there in front of it. So I'm not taking sides against Gina Rodriguez. Either way, it wasn't a punch that uh, affected that had any serious effect on Rios. All but, right, here we go. Manny was. Uh, Proved that the matchmaking was very good in that first round because he was just too quick for Rios. Round number two, scheduled for 12. The ramifications of this fight are huge. Back down, back upstairs, showing some power right back in front of Rios. Rios is a guy that will never quit. He's a bigger man. Take those on the gloves. Slinging shots downstairs now. I guess he's. The plan is to go to the body because Rios has landed uh, more punches to the body than to the head. He's going to have to let his hands go a lot more than he did in that first round if he's going to try to outpoint Andy Pacquiao. Well, I think in, in the back of his mind or maybe in the front of his mind uh, is, is some way to get that right hand in and, and test Manny. He hasn't really uh, thrown in a right hand with mean intentions yet. Nice movement by Manny. He's well conditioned for this fight. Back and forth. Jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. Look at him set up the big left hand. Rios is working hard. Good work, work ethic here. Manny's eyes totally clear, totally in control in there. Manny can be with his head down and just walks into the kill zone without throwing. Not a good idea. He's throwing now, but Manny's making a miss.
Good combinations by both fighters, Pacquiao especially. Now it's beginning to pick up. Pacquiao's landing more here. He grabs Yam. Rios fights back valiantly. Uh, Rios has said that uh, boxing and banging are his orgasms, and he's, he, he must be having a good one right here. Good body punch by Rios. 21 seconds to go, and this is the second round. Many skips around to his right, trying to get in position to South Portland land that straight left hand. Definitely a better round for Rios, but how did he Oh, look at this. Many closing the show here at the end of the round. Better round for Rios, but it's Pacquiao's round. Rios smiles as if to say, oh, that's what I came here for. You know, the last fight, the Marquez fight, similar to this, Manny controlled the first five rounds of the fight. Now look at this at the end of the round when he really opens it up. Stiff, straight left hand. Probably the best single shot, but he's landing multiple shots. And don't forget for the southpaw, that's his power hand. So we're getting ready to go to three. Christina Puncher, our principals, Manny Pacquiao in blue, multicolored trunks, Brandon Rios, both former world champions, fighting for an international title here, which will lead to a world title shot for both of them. Brandon trying to land more leather here in the early going of round three. Pacquiao still has the quickness on his legs. Still shows hand speed. Well, you know, all, the, all, the, all those things are relative. Um, and Rios is the slower fighter with his feet and his hands. Um, he promised to test Manny's chin, but so far he really hasn't been able to. He wanted to then, Larry. He must have heard you. Two straight lefts and a right to miss. Manny just totally outscoring this kid. Feigning his right and back to his left. Getting his left hand through. And he's getting a boxing mess at this stage. Keeping him spinning, keeping him circling, which means he's off balance. It's all dictated by Manny Pacquiao. At some stage, this kid's going to get real frustrated if Manny continues to box like this. And that's what he'll throw his ears back and throw caution to the wind. And that's when you folks will absolutely love what's going to happen after that. Chan goes up for Manny. Oh, there you go. He's got him a couple times there. Manny not pleased, obviously. Brandon comes in, but he kind of falls in. Remember yesterday, Larry, we were talking about they were saying that Manny falls in the punches. Oh, he nailed him with a good left hand coming in. Look at the hand speed. Reels might shake his head no, but that always means, yeah, I'm getting hit. Oh, uh, he's trying to say no. It didn't hurt me. It's going to take more than that. Well, Manny Pacquiao has more than that. You know, when an older fighter, you know, fights a guy with a good style for him, a guy that comes to him, a guy he doesn't have to look for, he can look 10 years younger. Well, he's looking 10 years younger right now. 
There's Miguel Cotto. Miguel been around the hotel signing autographs. It's amazing how many people are here just to see and be seen with these fighters. Pitching a shout out so far. Stay in the middle, okay? Keep running out, okay? He's, he's swinging well, doesn't do easy, okay? I'd like to see what the punch count is because I'm sure it's a lot to a lot too little at this point. Just so much more active is Manny Pacquiao than Brandon Rios. Brandon almost on the defensive, which is definitely not his style of fighting, not his preferred style. Well, Christine, at some stage, you got to start to explode. Absolutely. And I have a feeling it's going to be this round. We'll see. Well, you know, he's younger. He's a little bigger. He may think that uh, let's get to the second half of the fight uh, against the older warrior. That's a long way away right now. Five unanswered punches. An answer finally from Pacquiao. Block those pretty well. All right. He's about ten punches down, Larry. And Rios hasn't landed on a one. Manny just doing a great job on boxing the kid right now. Not much power there, but look at him make him miss. Slick move. It's like a master boxer against an amateur right now. Well, he makes Rios look plotting. I mean, going past him and constantly spinning him. Having him off balance. Well, no, he's letting him go. Well, he's beating him up. He had a free hand. The referee was absolutely right. Manny Pacquiao was looking at him to say, I want you to stop this. And with a free hand, you're not, the referee is not supposed to stop it. So Rios was banging him in the ribs. Too many referees stopped this. No, no, they, you're absolutely right, Larry. He did it exactly right. Get a free hand, let him go. Now, when they were both tied up, then he had him back of the head. Gino says, no, that, that you can't do. The movement of Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao and Blue, as you know. Ducking and moving all over the place. Beautiful. That's his fight plan, obviously. Just keeps going around and keeps him spinning because that gets you off balance. You can't throw punches when you're circling back to your left. Well, what made Manny Pacquiao Manny Pacquiao against the bigger guys was uh, that he could hit them and they couldn't hit him. And that's what's happening here, too. That's exactly what's happening there. It's all Pacquiao. Forty thirty six on my score sheet. And an easy forty thirty six. Okay. Beautiful boxing. All right, I'll be right now. It's easy for you. You're way too fast. Freddie, beautiful boxing. Easy night for you so far. It's something along those, those lines in the corner. Be smart, be smart, keep going smart, hands up high, always start with body shots. Always start with body shots. Body. All right, here we go. This is round number five, scheduled for 12. So far, it's been all Manny Pacquiao. Hands 
if Rios can do anything different here in the fifth to keep it going. Once Manny decides to move, Larry, I mean, the thing changes immediately. Well, he sits and waits. Rio still wasn't able to land anything. Pretty good fighter for a congressman. A very good fighter for a congressman. <laughs> I wish our own congressman would fight like that. Straight left hand. Catches him on the button. And it gone here in the fifth. Oh, Tyria. Venetian. Pacquiao. China. If Manny Pacquiao shows signs of age and vulnerability, Rios has been unable to exploit it. You know, I didn't see any signs of age and vulnerability against uh, one Manuel, except for he got hit by a shot. Well, he heals. He, he got knocked down twice. Not what we normally saw no. in Manny Pacquiao. Well, this is appearing to be the perfect opponent for him. Rios just you know, hasn't been able to open up at all. Yeah, you know, this, uh, this is box him, box him. If the knockout comes, get it. I mean, I, I'm really shocked at this. I thought Rios would give him a fight. So far, he's done nothing. And he can't. Man, he's got every phase of his fight shut down. Including the inside outside game. He's spinning him, he's turning him. His hands are faster. How frustrating is this for the tough hard street kid from Oxford? Well, he's in a fight. He's going to make $4 million. Um, that's what you fight for. You also fight to win. Um, that part of it isn't happening. At some stage, I just thought that Brandon Rios would explode when he, you know, he's been capitalized totally throughout this fight. But for the most part, he's been in a what I call an attrition fighter, beating down opponents through sheer energy and will. Um, but Manny Pacquiao isn't there for him uh, to impose that kind of a fight on him. Well, I got a perfect fight so far for Manny Pacquiao. 50 45, giving Pacquiao every single round. A lot of celebrities in attendance. The last guy that Manny Pacquiao stopped, Miguel Cotto, four years ago. Ruslan Prevednikov was we on saw the him a couple of weeks ago. And, and he's on the potential short list to fight Manny Pacquiao, former sparring partner. Paris Hilton seems like her boxing. David Beckham. Seems to never ever lost his luster as a great star. I understand he signed a huge contract to be part of the whole promotional aspect of this casino. Well, they're robbing stars from Las Vegas and bringing them to the call. Here we go, round number six. And so far, it's all Manny Pacquiao. More energy, more movement, more speed. Landing more shots, heavier shots. Fighting the perfect fight plan. This is a straight shot down the middle. I've been waiting in anticipation for Rios to open up and attack. When he tries, he can't. And he gets accused of a low blow. Which isn't beyond the realm of possibility that he would throw on purpose. I think he was kidding when he said it in the fire. I mean, he kind of said it jokingly. Oh, no, I assure you, he wasn't kidding. Yeah. You think he so? might have sounded like he was kidding, but he'll do anything he has to. to Street fight to is win. <laughs> I, get, I get what you're saying. They'll fight. He might have been joking in a joking way, and I think you're right there. But I assure you, he'll resort to anything he has to. In terms of pulling out all the stops. That's it. Well, where are the stops right now? Slow hands setting up right in front of him. 
no mostly, mostly what this shows so far is that Manny Pacquiao wants to be Manny Pacquiao again. So light on his feet, jumping around. That he still has a desire to do this despite having a full-time job as a politician. And I don't know many elite fighters who've had a second job. Oh, they haven't been any. <laughs> but the one thing about being a politician, you can do anything you want. <laughs> well, he gets leave of absence when he trains. I know that. Well, it certainly paid. This leave is paid off. Besides that, he gives more than half his money back to the public anyway, so... They gotta get him refueled so he can get more away. Yeah, well, they say he's a one mayor in welfare system to his constituents. What is he? Brandon finally landed a light right hand, but doesn't take any effect on Manny. I'm just surprised. Is it a little, a little, little cut by the left eye now of Brandon Rios? Is it just from taking so many shots? With the hand speed of Manny Pacquiao. Now you see there, Christina, he wanted in the worst way to hit him from behind. Caught himself. Yeah, he was uh Bleeding. he was jarred by a couple of those punches from Pacquiao and just said, okay, uh, now I gotta start again. He just keeps coming. He coming for a, a bad beating, it looks like. If this uh, goes on another six rounds. Uh, there is a cut there and by the left eye. And watch Peggy go to work on that. There's the trying to get on. It. That ends at round number six. It's all Manny Pacquiao. That that cut uh, could have, could cause the end of this fight after a while. Sixty fifty four with a cut. Manny looks like he's uh, at a school function. He's smiling over there in the corner. He's loving this. Everything going his okay. way. Uh, it might be when he got the cut right there in that series. Super job by a guy's working in slow mo. This is where he's got his space. Don't give him the space. Okay. Okay, Brendan. Especially but when my you man, Charles. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta throw from far. You gotta work your way in. Hands up high, hands up, and then you go in, right? Uh, most of you out there have uh, seen pictures of and know about the enmity between the, the corners in this fight and a uh, little bad blood and testosterone blew up earlier this week in the gym. Um, and right now it's Freddie Roach and friends who are having the best of it along with their man Manny Pacquiao. I like Pacquiao's style. He, he'll run at him. He'll go past him. Now he lands three punches in a row. He gets inside like this. Comes with the uppercut. This with the left hand. Still a smirk on the face of uh, Brandon Rios, but that smirk is going to go away in a hurry because man, he's pounding him a lot. He says no, which means yes. This is some fine boxing by Manny. Let me ask you this, Larry, at this stage, barring some sudden bolt out of the blue, Manny's fighting very well. And again, you pointed out he's fighting a slower fighter, so is he as good as what we think he is right now? Well, at the moment, uh, he's plenty good. Yeah. Um, we'll see against opponents with, uh, who come with a, a different set of talents. We can only judge him on the moment, and as I said earlier, what what I think is truly important here is not just that he's just too fast and too good, but that he still wants it. He's a 34-year-old guy who still wants it. And that's what he was saying all week long to, to us both. That's what he wants to show people, is that I'm not done. And, and I think that knockout loss reinvigorated him, and he trained as such as if he has to prove himself again. And when was the last time he thought he... He would have that on his mind, trying to prove himself. 
Well, he's proven himself tonight as far as I'm concerned. Well into the seventh round. And and, and and you have to point out that Rios lost his last fight too, but they thought that he would be the better opponent for Manny uh, than Alvarado who beat him. And uh, the guys uh, who make these decisions have been proven right so far. So, yeah. 25 seconds to go in the seventh. And right now, the only way that Rios can win the fight is to knock out Pacquiao, and it ain't happening. And he used that bad word, ain't, purposely. I thought it had more style. Well, you know, this is a, a street sport, and in the street, you can say ain't. <laughs> I'm a college graduate, and I don't use the word very often. <laughs> But that one I'll put in the books for Manny Pacquiao again. Wow. You know, it, the shot heard around the world delivered by Marquez almost a year ago has not resulted in a shot fighter. Well, one punch is one thing. To me, the way uh, Rios is getting banged around here, much more severe to take this many head blows in one fight than what happened. And there's the cut to the left side. They've done a nice job there, by the way. Alex Rising. Manny Pacquiao's mom. All right, here we go. This is round seven. The Colonel, Bob Sheridan, Larry Merchant, Christina Poncho, Kotai Arena, Macau, China. Beautiful, beautiful venue. Jam back to see Manny Pacquiao. Working well for the people that flew here from the Philippines so far. Round eight, scheduled for 12. WBO International Welterweight title. What does that mean? Well, it's some sort of belt, but more important than that, it means he's in line, if they can put it together, to fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. Manny Pacquiao doesn't need titles of any kind uh, to get any fight he wants. It's just a, a gaudy little trinket, and, um, and he's got a lot of it. Yeah, my God. <laughs> about eight and nine of them. Some of those gaudy little trinkets. However, Larry, there are a lot of guys out there that like to have just one gaudy little trinket. There's no doubt about, about it, but he's in, the he's in the position where uh, belts don't matter. Uh, he's he's sure. bigger he's than any belt. Yeah, he's beyond that. And there's a few guys that are. And he's delivering a lot of belts tonight. That's the most important thing. Now, by choice, mm -hmm. he elected to latch on to him, let the Rios bang away at him. But Rios never caught him good on the inside with the one hand free. It was almost as if Manny said, okay, go ahead, use some of your energy right here because it's not affecting me as I hold your arm. Manny, of course, has great legs and big thighs and huge calves. And that adds to the strength of his power. Those legs are tremendous legs. He's in great shape for this fight, and he's showing it. And, you know, the question was if, if Manny's chin was going to be able to hold up, but he's got to get hit there to be able to test exactly. it. Exactly. If he's vulnerable, does the other guy have the stuff to expose it, to take advantage of it? I don't even think it's been tested up to this point in round eight. He hasn't hit him with one flush shot. Exactly. He's caught him with some glancing blows. He's caught him with a couple of decent shots and nothing big. Because Manny's there, not there when you throw. Like Angelo Dundee, hit and don't get it. That's exactly what Manny's doing tonight. He comes in, he comes in, we'll go right by him. It's a solid shot there. But the, the operative part of that equation of hit and don't get hit as a professional fighter, hit comes first. That's and, right. And Manny Pacquiao hits. He's, out, he's not out there just to not get hit. He's not trying to get hit. But he's trying to hit like this and then not get hit. Well, Rios 
The crowd doesn't like that at the end of the round. I thought it was a nice gesture, actually, that he was saying, you're a pretty good fighter, man. <laughs> but that is the way it translates 50 rows back. That was a fighter to fighter gesture. Eighty seventy two on my score sheet. One of the better punches of the evening landed by, but too few of them. And then right back comes Manny. He can't help being a street kid, can he? He just can't help it. You gotta dance with who brought you. You gotta be who you are. Uh, he's that. But it's a bad dance for him. All right, we go to round nine. Colonel Bob Sheridan here. Larry Merchant, Christina. Principals, Manny Pacquiao in the blue with the red. Multicolored trunks, Brandon Rios, who hasn't won around yet. And in the first 20 seconds of this round, he's behind again. His only hope now is to pull out by Marquez type shot to get stop Manny. Otherwise, he has no shot. Manny's not giving him the chance, and Rios doesn't have the kind of uh, cunning uh, that Marquez did. Marquez, has, you know, having fought Manny three times, knew him pretty well. the opponent or not so far Manny Pacquiao is uh, pretty well put to rest any discussion or skepticism about how he would come back from the knockout whether whether he would still want to do this at the highest level whether he still invest himself to be at his level well he certainly has very there's no question that he's totally dominant in this fight. And more important than his domination is that his desire, determination, the fact that he trained so hard. Uh, I mean, he's been on his toes throughout the course of this fight. Cruise a little bit right now for this portion of this round. And let's see if he stops and plants and decides, because he's certainly the ring general. Got a really good shot that time. Anytime he wants. Touch on this kid now. I don't know that uh, any fighter uh, for some time has taken as much as Rios and kept coming at Manny Pacquiao. Well, I don't think anyone's really questioned Brandon's chin coming into the fight. Yeah, but he hadn't fought anybody, uh, yeah, anybody like Manny Pacquiao. Well, of course. And the bell ends at the ninth round. Three to go. It's all Pacquiao. That's Jinky Pacquiao. Um, the wife, of course. Uh, I think she's pregnant with their fifth child. Yeah, she's four months pregnant. I have a daughter four months mm -hmm. pregnant. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Luckily, I don't have anyone that's close to me that's pregnant. Go, hands up high. Okay? Hands up high. I'll hold you in. Blood, blood, and then come back. Blood, blood, and then come back. All right? Blood, blood, and then come back. Let's do it. Well, that's what you'd expect to hear him say. A lot of guys come back, just come back. Well, let's see if he's got the intestinal fortitude 
the ability, the desire, and if he's trained hard enough to be able to come back. I believe he's trained hard enough, but I don't think he can do it. Not as long as you've been hitting like this. They get too many head blows tonight. Manny has imposed his will throughout the course of this fight. And he continues to do it into the early going here in round 10. Gina, let me fight, will you? Light tapping now by Manny, trying to line up something heavy with that left hand. I love his movement, Larry. He's sliding by all the time, turning, turning, turning this guy. Uh, this is a, a whoa. This is a reminder of how much Manny Pacquiao changed when he became king of the world from when he first came to these shores 12 years ago and was just uh, a puncher. Finally got a stick through there, but no damage. And he might be slightly arm weary now because he's thrown just a ton of punches. Still ten knees in there. Three shots of the head, one of the body. No matter what Brandon does, Manny's got an answer. Yeah. And you, you get into the mode where you have to defend yourself against it, and so you can't go in offense. Like that. He's got to defend himself. He's got to defend himself. When does he let go? Those executives down the tenth round. Manny Pacquiao making a. A lot of people in his country very happy at the moment. Well, he's got 100 points now. 100 to 90 at the end of 10. Every single round. Total domination. All the questions that emerged from his last fight with Marquez were very legitimate. Um, and all the answers that he's been able to give against Rios have been uh, just as legitimate. All right, here we go. This is round number 11. Scheduled for 12. It's championship time. And there is a title on the line. It's the WBO International Welterweight title. I put you in line for the WBO World title. But like Larry, you said, the titles don't mean anything to Manny Pacquiao. He's one of the fighters that's beyond belts, beyond the associations. Although Paco Bagasel is going to be pretty happy that he's got a WBO title. It's almost like Brandon's now just in the fight for a moral victory, if you will, to say if he could go the distance because Manny's just outclassing him round after round. Well, sometimes tough guys do extraordinary things at the end of fights. We've seen it before. It certainly doesn't look like that could happen right now. The prize fighters sometimes surprise me in their grit. It's the great thing about our sport, there's always a chance. Yeah, you can hit a 12 run, the home run, you 
say in yeah. the world, but uh, you don't see it very often. And in all reality, the only hope now is for Rios to get really, really rough as the blood trickles from his left eye. And then there's the other question. How much does this corner want to get beat up anymore in this fight? He's taking a lot of punishment to the head now. I'd be inclined to stop this fight. Why? Uh, he, he, you know, he's blocking those, uh, many of those punches. They're off his gloves. They're grazing and, and uh, hurting him. They're not letting him put on any offense. He's trying something here. But, uh, well, Larry, I don't like a guy getting this many shots in the head. Yeah, you know, really, none of us, none of us do. But that's that's what they sign on for. Oh. Sneaky short right hand on the inside there. As the camera switched, uh, he land a couple Double of left jazz. hands. Just to remind Manny that he's there. Stuff. Extraordinary. Crowd boos anything that Rios does. And cheers everything that we have uh, That's what it's like when you have a hometown crowd. Yeah. This might just as well be hometown. This is Asia after all. Had a lot more reasons to cheer tonight, and it's a it's a big deal for him uh, to be to be fighting here in Macau. Um, hasn't been a major international fight uh, since Tyson and Douglas. Before that, Ali and Fraser. Well, we're going to the 12th and right. final round. And it's scored to my sheet 110 to 99. Notice Larry the saying in the corner, now be smart about it. In other words, don't take too many chances. Unfortunately, that's not the nature of a prize fighter. This kid just getting beaten up. We now go to round 12, the final Come on, let's go, let's go, brother, let's go. All right, here we go. This is round number 12. We've seen it before when a guy wins every single round, and all of a sudden, he loses the fight. Ask Michael Moore. Not likely scenario. The man is totally dominated. Continues to stay up on his toes. Continues to hit this guy. He's not running away from him. He just used a really slick movement in there. When you get two guys that can show defense like this guy in Mayweather, you know, what kind of a fight you can have there? And can it be made like? I think it's a hard one to be made. Um, a Filipino reporter who's covered Manny Pacquiao for many years told me that there are people in Manila who want to make some kind of offer to make the fight that's bigger than big than, and bigger than that. But uh, Mayweather, having made upwards of $75 million in his last fight, uh, isn't likely to want to go abroad um, where he's never fought. Well, if he came abroad to this neck of the woods, he actually would have been able to keep 75 million. No, 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 no. Well, if you're a U.S. citizen, you got to pay U.S. taxes. All right. Even if you make it here or Siberia. That's true. Don't we, <laughs> Don't we know that? Don't we know that? Doing it around the world. Brandon was cut way back in the sixth round. He is. Uh, Juan has done a nice job preventing the cut from being a factor. You know, he has surrendered. He has acknowledged that he's the second best man in the ring. And 
and uh, just wants to hang around for another minute. Well, he's almost. He, he, uh, came, he came. So sharp. He came. He saw, and he is being conquered. Cut over the left eye. Big swelling on the right eye. That's what it looks like to face Manny Pacquiao, huh? A brilliant yep. job by Manny Pacquiao. No question, he's dominated this fight from the get-go. Brilliant offense, brilliant defense. His ability to circle, his ability to stand his toes for full 12 rounds. Rios really can't take much more except the last 25 seconds of the fight. Manny might throw caution in the wind and try and take him out here. Crowd certainly would love to see it. Now they're trying to mix it up a little bit. The crowd is in its frenzy. The crowd is on its feet. This is the showman in Manny Pacquiao. He wants to close the show with the crowd on its feet. The crowd is on its feet. It's all over. Brandon smiles at him. He can't believe what's just happened to him. And Brandon wakes up. A perfect up. shut up. Wow. One twenty to one away. Perfect shut up. I want to see any way that that man got any round. You are correct, sir. Well, Larry's going to make his way up into the ring, and uh, we're going to have an interview with the victor, and maybe even the loser. We'll see what the producers say. So while we have a chance, we want to let you know that the Pat Putnam Sommelier of the Year Award goes to Jeff Greer of McSorley's here at the Venetian Hotel. They've certainly looked after us and many of the boxing people throughout the course. So Jeff Greer, we thank you very, very much for being part of the entertainment here in Macau. Just by being a politician, Manny Pacquiao kept his promises. How often do politicians do that, Colonel? Never. <laughs> Never. And he did, huh? Manny saluting his fans. Michael Buffer will have to make it official. The handsome one is standing by. Well, the only official particulars, again, unofficially 120-108. Here's Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Venetian Macau, we go to the scorecards. Michael Pernick scores it 120 to 108. Lisa Jaffa has it 119 to 109. And Manfred Kuchler scores it 118 to 110. All to the winner by unanimous decision. He's back. The fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny Pac-Man. He's back, no doubt about it. Well, we know that Beckham gets a bigger cheer than Cotto. Mama Pacquiao gets a bigger cheer than Beckham. And Manny Pacquiao is back in business. Not quite sure about one and two rounds to Rios and a couple of those scorecards. That was a complete shutout, Steve. Yeah. I've, I've done where you can where you can score them. I think maybe just just give him a token round to make it look good for him. But no, it was a it was a one horse race. You know, we said before he's tailor made for him. We thought we might have seen a bit more from Rios because he was always in the pocket, but he just had that high guard up. He, Pacquiao just had too much, too much speed for him. He couldn't let the shots go. I mean, he, could, he, he straight left, and when he went to the body, he hurt him. You know, all credit to Rios for seeing it through to the final bill, to be in all honesty. Mm. But, yeah, a great performance by Pacquiao, considering what he had in front of him. I'm sure tougher tests lay ahead next year. Yeah, that's the question. That's what boxing fans and pundits will be asking now, Gary. Was Rios just the perfect foil, or was that vintage Manny? 
I think it was a, bit, a little bit of both. Yeah. I think he was put there to to make Manny look good, but I think you know is is he's super talented. You know, his mo his movement, mm -hmm. and what I liked about him tonight, he just slowed himself down a little bit. He wasn't throw, throwing so many shots as what he was doing against Marquez, and it seemed to make him that little bit better. He didn't look so wild. His defense was a lot better, and um, you notice whenever Rios attacked, he just had it covered. He was rolling out one way, rolling out the other, tight defense. It's really, really impressed with him tonight. Yeah, that's right. It's a sort of controlled aggression. It's almost because those Marquez fights are so close, every punch counts, so they want to yeah. throw so many of them. Um, let me ask you about um, Rios. Was he not able to get any offense off because the, Pacquiao was so good yeah, tonight? Yeah, you think that. I, mean, look, I thought he would have just thrown more and maybe thrown that bit of caution to the win, but I dare say if he had, he must say he could well have been knocked, knocked out cold. But... No, look, he, he just couldn't get him off. Mm. He, he was always in the pocket, but Manny was always in the spin. And Manny, Manny was always moving, wasn't he, to his right as well. And, you know, he, he just couldn't get him off at all. You know, there's still fights for Rios out there. But, um, you know what, I thought Manny would win tonight. And I thought he'd win inside the distance. But maybe I did expect a bit more from Rios. But a lot of that is down to how Manny performed. Yeah, dominant performance. Very. Hurt him a couple of times to the body, Gary. It looked as though that surprisingly might be the, the sort of knockout punch. Yeah, I kept mentioning, I think he, he went straight through the middle to the solar plexus with the left a couple of times. And he's almost bent him in half. But um, I think he was having so much success leaning down the right and popping the left hand straight through. He couldn't miss him with it. So I think he kept, uh, he kept with that punch. But the, the shots around the side, you could see the, the right hooks and the left hooks around the sides. He was throwing them as a decoy for the, for the one up for the middle mm. as well. I think that was sort of breaking Rios down and, and, and slowing the legs up through the through the rounds as well. Steve, how do you think that, that performance, not the result that was expected, but the performance, how will that be perhaps received in the boxing world? Yeah, I think, that, look, that was a good performance. He, he, he didn't take a punch. He did everything he had to do. That was that was a fine performance considering he'd come off one of the most... most you know, that knockout last December was one of the most chilling knockouts you'll ever see. Mm. Um, you know, he, he showed no after. Uh, you know, there was no ill effects from it. He wasn't scared of letting his hands go. No, no you, you, anyone who, who finds too much fault with that must be um, too much of a perfectionist. You know, he can go on now and he'll be back in marquee fights next year. Be it in Macau, where he seems to fight and can fight tax free, or in maybe Las Vegas. I know this Miguel Cotto was there tonight. Um, whether he was there with view to a rematch against Manny. Um, Time will tell. It's interesting he was there tonight. There's plenty out there for him. You know, the Marquez fight for the fifth time is what Freddie Roach was talking about. And what about Tim Bradley too? And, of course, the, Bob, um, the big one that the Bob Arum's spoken about is Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, not quite the fight it was four years ago, but you still watch it. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Mm. I think that's the biggest... I, that would be the biggest gross in yeah. pay-per-view fight that's available out there for for Mayweather. I mean, look at how much he earned for the last fight. Would it would it be that? <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. Probably because I mean, look at the performance from Pacquiao there tonight. He, you know, he showed that he's still right at the top of his game. He was as good as ever tonight. So uh, all those out there saying, you know, what what's he got left? Mm. Shame on you. <laughs> yeah, he's as good as ever. The, the Mayweather fight, it's down to the fighters now to say we want, you know, let's come on. The pair of them should just say, we'll get together, we'll get this on, we'll get top rank and golden boy together. You know, let's say oh, Mayweather has got his own promotional company, he works with golden boy to organise everything for him. Um, let's get this. Get it on and get the money next year. As I say, Khan's got the job first, it seems, and hey, the big pay per view fight for next November, why not them two? And a, a smile is not often far from Manny's face at the best of times, but it looked very early on, Gary, as though he was enjoying himself. Yes, uh, it's something that's, it's, that's quite surreal to see, really. You know, a boxer <laughs> chuckling and laughing, <laughs> you know, sat down in the corner, and uh, everybody's so happy and jovial. This is supposed to be the hurt game. What are they doing laughing and chucking it in the corner? It's uh, surreal to see, but um, such I really enjoy watching him as well because of his, his whole attitude and his, um, you know, his personality. He's fantastic. Mm. Uh, must be a fantastic bloke to know. And actually, although he was sort of getting beat up to an extent, he wasn't actually getting hammered, Rio. So it wasn't maybe as hard as a fight as the, as the Alvarado no, two, you could argue. No, I mean, that was, they were just, they were just, that was 19 rounds mm. of... Those two fights were 19 rounds of a real, real brutal. Um, you know, he looked bashed up at the end, 
But, you know, a couple of times, you know, he winced a little bit and maybe nearly went over a couple of times you thought he was going to go. But he didn't take, you know, the, the, the lads are doing the commentary I was saying, mate, how much punishment did it take? He's taken a, head, you know, a lot of headshots. <sighs> I, I think he was OK to get, to get through the fight. Well, Cap I've seen a lot worse of fighters go through 12 rounds and not get pulled out. Yeah, absolutely. A couple of questions to finish off. Gary, you said you're going to get Steve down to light middle, I uh, think, with a special no trip. <laughs> oh, I, I special. Don't know about that. You're the master trainer then, down in South again, then, then again, see, you know, the fighting talk just now, he's just rubbished. You know, how many punches <laughs> did Rios get hit with then? A thousand punches? He just made out like it was nothing. So, <laughs> you know, he's obviously got a lot of fight left in him. And what, what, what about. Good a bit. What about you? <laughs> what about you and, and, and your gym, your fighters? What, what's coming up? Yeah, um, December the 7th, I've got Liam Williams um, in a light middleweight eight rounder. He's a good kid, Liam. Enzo's defending his Commonwealth title That's against. That's up in um, Liverpool on Box Nation. Liverpool, yeah, on Box Nation against Courtney Fry. Good fighter over the years, Courtney, good amateur. Um, and then on the 21st, then I've got um, Lewis Rees, a young lad to watch out for in an eight rounder against Peter McDonough, who's a regular uh, yeah, fighter on, uh, the... on Box Nation. Excellent. Really looking forward to that. I think before we go, we're going to hear from Pacquiao speaking to Larry Merchant. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Manny. Um, you had a hard, a harder time taking off your wraps than you did in the fight, it seemed. Yes, uh, I'm the one who uh, put my wraps, so I just to make sure that um, my hands is not hurt. Yes. What was the most important thing to you tonight? Was it just winning? Was it to show that you could box again? Was it show, to show that you had recovered from the knockout? Recovering for, uh, from the knockout and uh, give a good show, um, you know, side by side, like like uh, the young Manny Pacquiao. That's what I'm trying to show tonight. Well, we think of the young Manny Pacquiao as this fiery boxer puncher. Tonight, you were a boxer first and a puncher. Didn't look like you needed a knockout for yourself. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very careful. I learned, I learned the last fight. I learned the last fight, you know, uh, if the knockout, knockout come, will come. And then, but I, I very care, I'm, I'm very careful throwing a lot of punches and counter punches. Uh, that's what I did in, in this fight. You hit him some good punches. Were those knockouts some of the opponents you have knocked out in the past? I'm sorry? You hit him some good punches, but he seemed to take them with... Man, he, he's one of the toughest uh, opponent in my in my career. He, he took a lot of punches, the solid punches, the, the left hand, but uh, he's still standing. That's why. <laughs> what does this mean to you personally, and to you as such as important person in your home country? It's uh, really important to me to bring the honor, this honor, to my country, especially. Uh, people who are affected by typhoon and uh, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be they're, they're so happy they're so happy right now because I, I want the fight you know God gave me this yeah. fight. would you say what you feel in your heart to your fans back at home and to the area that was dev devastated by that typhoon what do you want to say to them um, thank you, thank you so much. Especially uh, thanks, uh, thank to God for the strength that He gave it to me, strengthens me tonight. And thank you to all your support, uh, my fellow countrymen, uh, to all the fe people and families who are affected by the typhoon. I will see you there. You know, I love you so much. Um, in Jesus' name. I have to ask you this, Manny. You beat up and outclassed a slower opponent. Can you do this to more elite opponents? Can you fight like this still? I can, sir. I, I, I can, I can fight. I'm, I'm. I do not consider um, uh, Rios as a um, easy opponent. I, you know, he, he's his tough. He's, 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 he's very tough boxer, but uh, a little bit slower and faster than him. But I can fight, still fight uh, a faster opponent and good boxer also. All right, your preference. Who should the next opponent be? Actually, sir, uh, right now I don't have uh, an idea. It depends on my promoter, uh, Bob Arum. Will you fight in the U.S. again? 
that, that's what I want. That's what I want. I miss, um, I miss, I miss to fight Las Vegas. Thank you for a great performance, Thank Manny. You, Thank you. Have a good night. He'll still be fighting in at Las Vegas. Is up for grabs. Who that will be? It uh, is something we'll be discussing next week on Buncey's show. You can see that, of course on Monday and indeed we'll be reflecting on that and looking ahead to the Copper Box next Thursday on my Boxing Matters show. Thanks very much to Steve Lillis, to Pleasure. Gary Lockett as well. We look Pleasure. forward to seeing you up in Liverpool. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow with Buncey's show. Thanks for staying up to watch the Pac-Man. We'll speak to you soon.